Welcome to tutorial number 148 in this SOLIDWORKS course and the third tutorial in sheet metal series. In this tutorial we're going to talk about the next sheet metal feature edge flange and we'll talk about the first option flange parameters which include edit flange use default radius. So let's start making a uh, piece of sheet metal click new part and first thing I'm going to specify a material this is an optional step just in case if anyone would be interested and here I'm going to pick a stainless steel sheet this is a, a common sheet of metal then go to the sheet metal base flange pick the plane we are going to select center rectangle with some dimensions sheet metal base flange the thickness here I'm going to specify um, one millimeter and here the K factor will be 0.4 and this is why I pick it the stainless steel material so in this case will be 0.4 and in future tutorials we going to talk in details about the bend allowance now click OK and for the reverse you can notice from the drawing here how that will change then click OK also I'm going to pick a stainless steel as appearance and here is a very simple sheet of steel so let's see how to use the edge flange here you will notice the edge flange option click on the edge is this fe this feature is to creating a flange on the edge so pick the edge here you will see the flange parameters select edge go to the sheet and select the edge where you're going to create your flange now to select this edge and then when you reach the, the length you need click ok or on the right mouse button it is a very simple edge flange but we have created this shape in the previous tutorial in one single step here we have two steps base flange and then edge flange I'm going to show you how we create it in one single step go to the right plane sketch normal to and make L shape adding some them some dimensions let's make this consider or horizontal and then sheet metal base flange to extrude the L shape 100 mid plane click ok as you notice the sheet metal parameters is grayed out because we already specified it is a sheet of steel with a K factor 0.4 and we can change it as we said in the previous tutorial for now click ok here you have the second beam we created in one single step so let's make another shape where we can notice that the edge flange is a handy tool go to the right plane and make a U shape
give it some dimension. And now let's extrude it by the base flange. Go to the sheet metal, base flange, and here we have a U shape beam. And now let's start to use the edge flange. Select edge flange, and this time we're going to select this edge. Now in this case you have the edge flange. You can make it in a way that you cannot do it by the base flange. So here you can select the edge you need. You can select it from below or the above edge and give you the same result and this arrow if you click will change the direction of this edge flange the second arrow here is the length of the flange we are also able to change that length in the next options but for now i am talking about the first option the flange parameters and when you, change, when you change the length, both of the edge flange changing at the same way. And when you are done, click OK. And here you will notice that we bended both sides of this sheet metal. The next option in the edge flange feature is the edit flange profile for example when you selected the edge it selected the whole edge but how if you need just for example to have half of that you can do that in the edit flange profile and you'll notice profile sketch this sketch you are able now to change it if you go to the profile and here is the sketch you can change it by dragging it freely change the length of it and you can even add dimension to that you can, for example, add 15 and this side 10. You can also change the shape of that sketch. Let's select a line here, select the midpoint here and the midpoint on the second line and trim the corner and you will notice how you change the sketch and when you are done you simply click finish and you notice how is the shape of the flange go back to the edge flange edit feature when we edited the edge flange we were able to change this side let's try to change and we are just able to finish or to edit this side there is a second approach you can reach to the sketch and you can change it on a different way if you go to the edge flange that in case you want to change the second side 
you will notice that you have two sketches. That sketch we already edited. As you remember, exit from that sketch. You can select when you hover over this sketch here, edit, and you'll notice it is in this side. We can edit this sketch at the same way, add some dimensions. And then click OK. And when you are done from that sketch, exit the sketch. And you will have your edge flange edited the same way. So there is two approaches to edit the sketch of the flange. Now let's see the next option in the edge flange. Again, edit feature you have the use default radius as we said before when you create a sheet metal sort of work assume you are working with the same sheet of metal in this case stainless steel sheet with a thickness of one millimeter and using the same press which giving you a bending radius of one millimeter so there is kind of no need to change that if you change, for example, the press, and then you need and the bendings radius change. According to that, you can you override the values, and you will notice the change 